Well, hello again there, boys and girls. Let's go ahead and hop on in. We're still loading right now, but we'll be spotting for Dad. Oh, man. It's fun. I like spotting for Dad. It's uh, it's it's much like any parent watching their kid do something that they're gaining skill with. It's like there's times I'm so afraid for him out there, um, and there's other times where I'm so proud of him. So hopefully, hopefully we can... Uh, get a good result here. I know that we're kind of overlapping. I think some of the other boys are uh, running uh, Petit Le Mans right now. Um, so hopefully we can uh, get a look at that and everything. But let's take a look and see. Dad's Dad's getting uh, getting himself sorted right now. But we're going to start spotting. Uh, check a look at the entries. It's going to be the 14 car, it looks like. All right. So right. you're going to be kind of like a mid-car here. Do we know anyone in here? Let's see. Robert Kruger, Darren Taylor, Ben Wilson, Kevin Whalen, Keith Miller, Danny Nagtikal. We're going to try, Robert. And uh, Lochi Brown, Vincent Donahue. Um, you were drafting with him in practice, I believe. Um, yep. Jonathan Berkeley, Richard Stees, Alexis Walker, Lawrence Bridges, Michael Thorpe. My dad, Brent McKee, Tony Kennard, and then Grayson Oswald, Jesse Baker, Logan Johnson, uh, Brandon Klasinski? Klasinski? Oh. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, good Klasinski. I yeah, good Irish name. Charles, Charles Eaton, <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Falk, and uh, Dennis Trout. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get a good... Uh, yeah, wreck avoidance is paramount. Now, Dad didn't decide if he wanted to qualify or not. I'm going to leave that up to him. You know, like I was talking about parents and kids before, we have to let him choose his own path. You know, I, I'll, I'll say this. There will be a giant wreck, especially in your split. It's just a matter of if you think you're lucky enough to either be in front of it or be um, good enough to get through it. Up to you. Hmm, that's a really good question. So the last time we ran Daytona, if you remember, there was a giant wreck coming out of turn two that you were able to navigate through. Um, there yeah. was another time that we ran, I think it was Talladega or Daytona, and then um, you try, you could not, there was nothing you could do. They wrecked in front of you, you had nowhere to go, you got into them. <laughs> not much you can do on that aspect, but if you're going to qualify, you've got to go out now because you need um all the time yeah to do um, your laps i sort of want to but i sort of want to hang back and just drive around okay well you can do that i think i'll do that i'll wreck avoidance for now and then see how it goes okay getting back into it who could blame you who can blame him fitz marie says don't qualify i know <laughs> i know and here's the thing it's it's tough because even in the splits that I run in, you know, and, and if we register for this race, we'd be in top split. You know, our I rating is about 4,700. And yeah, my dad's is, what is your I rating? Isn't it like 1140, 1146. 1146. So, again, keep in mind this split, which is probably not bottom split, but it's probably next to bottom split. Did you see That's how many people were registered? Usually the restrictor plate races get a lot of participants. I heard... Let's see. I think I think I saw fifth, forty-five or fifty. So it wasn't that many, but uh, that was really? early on. So that was early on. So maybe oh. they hadn't finished yet. So here, let me see if I can if I can see it. I might be able you, to see it. Where do you see that in the main screen or something? Um. Yeah, I can probably check it. Um, but yes. So yeah, there's a lot of people registered. So there okay. are there are nine splits. You are, you are in split seven, so you are in the third from bottom split. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> Last time I was in second from bottom for, at Lanier. <laughs> Correct. However, there was like probably half this car count, if not exactly. a third. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. 212. 212 people registered? Boom. Yikes. Ooh, no. <laughs> the extra salt and death splits. Oh, yeah, man. We are in, we are in the belly of the beast, let me tell you. <laughs> When it comes to like salty splits and stuff, man, you you can't do much saltier than these ones. And I need to add drivers. Is this is this the uh, rookie class of splits? <laughs> no, it's I mean, yeah, I mean I everyone in the split in theory is as good as you are. Yeah, well that's good. 
Would you want? Would you want some? Would you want you bump drafting you? Um, that's all I needed to hear. (laughs) Well, you know, once I'm in it for a little bit longer, then I would probably say yes. But uh, drafting, yes. Bump. What? Lochi Brown. Brown? I don't know. Somebody in here. Lochi Brown. He's from Australia. Oh right. So you've got two. I got two Aussies in here. Well, or or they could. They're from down under. Yeah, they're from that general area. So (laughs) Thomas says, "Good luck, Bruce. I'll be praying for you." Uh, thank you, Thomas. What's up? What's up, Aaron? I I don't have the chat or the stream going, so I can't see. But thanks in advance, everybody, for checking on in. Yeah, yeah, and these are fun. And again, it's good to have Dad back now. Dad, you got a new bit of equipment this week. What did you get? Yes, I did. I finally sprung for a bigger monitor. I had a, a measly 24-inch, one that was probably about six feet away, which was not very useful. So my first step was to move that one closer, but um, it was sort of my work secondary monitor. So I ended up having to switch it back and forth all the time. So I finally pulled the trigger on a new Dell 32-inch, um, 1440 res. It's pretty nice, pretty nice tube. Yeah. Very, very crisp and clear. Yeah. And I like it. It is right in front of my face. I would say it's probably about 18 inches from my face. Maybe so, two feet. <clears throat> so the original setup was a uh, it was a, a seat and wheel stand and everything. And Dad, again, is running on my old PC and my old G27. So he's running all in all that gear. And he had, it was a filing cabinet at the very end beyond the pedals that had <laughs> what equates to a postage stamp um, that you would be racing through. Like imagine the size of a basement window. That's what he's looking through, six feet away, and it's like, oh my god, you can't see anything. So I was like, spot, I was like spotting myself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, don't yeah. sneeze. From chopper cam two or whatever it was, but yeah, <laughs> or whatever that is. Anna wishes us luck. We're gonna need it. Thank you. Thank you. yes, Anna. We're gonna need it. Thank you. Yeah. So. <laughs> anyway, that was so nice. yeah. So now Dad has this monitor um, much closer to him, so he's moved it forward. Mm-hmm. And then it is sitting on, what is it? It's a sewing table, right? Sewing machine table? It's a sewing machine table, yeah. I, uh, I at one point, collected some sewing machines, some good old <laughs> USA top-of-the-line manufacturer singer machines, and they came in these cabinets. And this is perfect because the legs fit right over top. I know. I didn't the, think of, about of that. Pedals. But oh, that's, a really, that's a really good hack for if you've got a smaller monitor. And you need yeah. something that just straddles you. It beats like a TV table or something like that that has no stability. Yeah, because we you shopped pick... around for a bunch of different ones. So. Yeah, and you could pick one of those up at a thrift store. No problem, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, Thunder Thunder says, yep, at that distance, probably 15-degree field of view confirmed <laughs> for the <laughs> yeah, right that's... perspective and everything. So, so Dad's I'll got the... i this way. Reach, reaching out my hand, I can touch the screen. That's awesome. So, that's, that's awesome. That's Getting yourself a nice new monitor is awesome. I put it off for a very long time until Anna finally kicked me in the butt um, and uh, (laughs) bought me one. So anyway, I've got your pit and everything. Just make sure you bring up um, bring up your relative. Everybody. Yep, it's up. Okay. Yeah, I'm running 19th. I'm the number 14 car. Okay. Yeah, good luck, everyone. So in terms of where you're starting, you're gonna have one, two, three, four cars behind you. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So you're gonna have two rows. Well, not really. Well, technically, yeah. You're going to have two rows behind you. The last row has only got one car. And, of course, he's got the Ricky Bobby Look. scheme going. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. <laughs> How, did, did my trading paints working? Is the bandit paint on? Yeah, bandit paint is on. It was a choice between this and the bullseye paint, because I do have that great That's paint right. job from Rand, from Randy for the bullseye car. And I've also got the other from PJE for the um, Monster Energy Mustang. Yeah. Yeah, they, but, uh, they both they both look badass. Yeah. They look great. Get back into it. I'll just be the bandit. That's okay. kind of what I what so I. So you've got this ten car up in front of you, which is blinking a blink. little. He's blinking a little bit. Um, and then I didn't see. All right, so Lochi's in the sip. So the ones we've got to look at, yeah, Steez, who's paying is three twenty five right now. It's delicious. Um, Lochi yeah. Brown and then Ben Wilson. Um, for the most part, let's see, Ben Wilson is in front of you, Lochi's in front of you, I think. Yeah, and then you've got the Florida car in front of you. Where'd Lochi go? Seventh. He's yeah. in seventh? Oh, yeah. Lochi, yeah, he's... Lochi's uh, directly in front of you. Right in front of me. See the other pinger? So I got the two pingers in front of me? Yep. 
Yeah. I love it when you call me Big Lochi. Alright, hold on. These guys are stacking up a bit on pit road. Call it out, call it out, call it out, call it out. Call it out. Stack, stack, stack it, stack it. <laughs> there you go. What do you I call out? Just stacking up on pit road, because oh. there's already guys in front of you who have damage now. Wizards. Alright. Good job, not falling into that. I already did my job. I That's feel right. four actually four even left the fucking pit line. Yeah, <laughs> Ben Wilson. <laughs> it's salty already in here. Yep, yep, there we go. Welcome to Split Seven. It's Yee Split Seven, the best night in America. You betcha. So anyways, before we begin, I appreciate all you guys watching who all turned out and everything. Oh, don't give me that battery low nonsense headset. Hold on one second. Alright. Yeah, check your equipment there, pit crew. Yeah, I know. There we go. Charging battery. Charging battery. Charging battery. I got a magnetic said, little thing that snaps in, so I don't have to actually put it in anymore. Awesome. Awesome. Nice, nice. I so, set the time out, the auto shutdown on this thing for a hundred, <coughs> for like ninety minutes. So oh, good. gotcha. Yeah, I think I mine set way out too. So, but yeah. All right. So here's the thing. You have cars that are damaged in front of you. Okay. So it's important that we pick those people out. And we okay. do not get stuck behind them. Okay? Okay. So go ahead and pull up here. I know the seven's given a lot of room. All right. He's going to go. Go, 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 go. You need to pull up to the seven here. Pull up. There's a big, big gap. All right. Stay with him. He's still got a big gap in front of him. All right. They're green. Go. I don't want to crash. All right. I do not let this 10 car down. He's blinking all over. We don't want him to mess with that. Just stay right here with the 7. You got a car high. You're clear. Just hold your line. Yep. Hold line your line, head. sir. And once we get to the back straightaway, we can decide. They're three wide in front of you. Stay low, 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 low. Oh. Uh. <laughs> all right. Lock it down. Lock it down. Lock it down. Lock it down. Yep, that's why. All right. It's all right. Go ahead. Go, go, go. Roll, roll. That was fast. All right, how's the car? Is it broke? You got a black flag or what? No black flag. What the hell the car looks like that, it's driving dude? sideways, though. It is. I got my... Okay, all right. Get, me me get well. to pit road here quick. I already got fuel and tires unchecked. You've got one fast repair. Pass these people if you can. Dude, number three, you need to get off the track, dude. Who's he talking to? No, I'm talking to check out. Idiots! Don't worry right, about it. Come, I'm coming so you're coming, right? you're coming to pit road, and we're gonna get you this quick repair right now. All yeah, these guys that are gonna be brave souls right here, we're gonna blow by them. All right, watch your speed here, driver. All right, don't speed. Sorry about that, guys. All right, pull it into pit. Oh, oh far forward there. Push down, there you go. And good. You too far right or you good? I think I'm good, I can't tell. What is it saying? Doesn't say anything. Doesn't say you're in your box, it doesn't tell you anything? It says in pit, in pit lane. You're not in your box. Back up. Yeah, that was awesome, whoever did that. Appreciate it. And center up in this box right here. Pull forward and stop. I'm stopped. It's not doing anything, huh? No. Too far left. Wait a minute. That's ridiculous. I wasn't. There you go. Pull in. You're okay. Jeez. All right. That's it. Go. It's that not. Go? It's not doing anything. He said, "That's it. Go." Wow! It totally gigged your fast repair. So, <laughs> just drive, just drive. There's no fast repair, so for whatever reason, it took the fast repair and did nothing. I don't know, my steering wheel's straight now. Oh, really, on my screen, you're destroyed. Huh. Well, the I steering mean, wheel's straight, I can't see these, the car, but... The car, I the car looks it. destroyed, in, in my view, anyway. Well, that was bogus, because... I pulled in, and I, then I had to move over to the left, and said it was too far left. Okay. Well, I was going off the visual cue here, so yeah. I guess that's my fault, probably. 
So did it give me the fast repair or no? I, I have know. no idea. If your steering wheel's straight and it's better, then yes. But let's just go ahead and drive here. Feels like it's underpowered a little bit, but... Oh, there you go. Oh, now it now it decides to refresh the graphics and your car looks great. Okay, so I'm fast repaired. Yep, you are repaired. And you need to learn how to drive or go play PlayStation play. Don't worry Gran about Turismo. it. Gran Turismo. There you go. There's one wrecked guy. Just hold your line here. Okay. Just you got one car right coming out. up with you here. Just hold your line. He's going to blow past you here. I want you to fall into his draft. Just hold your line. You're clear. You're clear. Just hold your line. Alright, start drafting with him here. You're clear. Get up with him. Get up there. Yeah, he totally crushed me, the nine car. So. Alright, get down to the bottom he's here. Yeah, he's, he's not going to do anything dumb. Alright. If, I don't know why he would run the dead center of the track like an idiot, but that's his decision. I'm, well, I'm going to run my line, I think, right? Like yeah, I mean, I don't know why he would run, like, the high line here. All right, he's still outside. Just run your line. You got guys exiting pit road here. Yep. So you just hold your line. Stay low. I need some dropping help. You're pulling him. Just hold your line, though, okay? Hold your line. Watch him coming out. You're clear now. All right, just hold your line. I don't know why the one car's being like this. They should be falling in or get ahead of me. One of yeah, one of the two. I mean, pick one. Stay low. He's being an idiot. If I were you, I'd come over the radio and say, either get in line, pass me, or don't. <laughs> Like, come down. Like, why are you up there? Just, yeah, just fall in behind him here and just stay low. Stay low. Don't drift up there. Don't give him the information that he want. He can go up there. Just stay low. He may not want to ride, run the low line. But don't care. <laughs> there you go. Just stay with him here. Hopefully he's got a brain in his head. Yeah, great job, iRacing. Good job. Just hold your line. Hey, 12, you want to stay behind me and be trying to draft back up? All right, he's trying to draft off these guys. They're just too far in front of him. But just hold your line. Stay with him. He's starting to sniff off of these guys in front, so you need to be yeah, with we'll him. him. Well, you need to be with him and follow him through. Okay. Okay. It's hard yeah. though because he's not picking the right line. Now, who no, he's. This is and this is a classic example of what not to do. Like you want somebody to draft with you, you have to give them a line to draft with you. Yeah. Stay he's low. A, I mean, stay I low. Okay. Are you clear? Yeah, okay. I, I'd go with him if I knew he was going to stay up there. All right, go with him. He's got the momentum. Go with him. Go with him. Let him pull you past. These are the brave souls who decided to stay out. You're clear. Come back down. Ah. What the hell is the matter with this dude? Hopefully you'll get help from the seven here. Just stay running your line. Just run your line. So you gotta stay off of that apron though. All right, they're out to your outside. Seven's in the wall, <laughs> keep coming. You're clear. All right, you're at his bumper right now. Just stay right here. We didn't want that bum shoving us anyway. Way to go, Lochi. <laughs> This is dead, yeah, Rachel. That's Dio. He's still high? He's still there. Yep, you're door to door. Still there. Still there. Still there. He's at your bumper. Stay low. Just run your line. I don't know why this guy is such a moron, but hopefully these dudes behind you can catch you and push you by this chump. Because this is just stupid. I mean, it'd be one thing. I'd be happy to draft with him, but... He's not in a line that you can him. draft, though. I mean, there's right. no point in running a high line here. It's not faster when it's just you. It's different if there's a low line to help generate side draft. So just hold your line. Seven cars coming with you. 
Just hold your line. Just hold a, hold a straight wheel here. Let him, let him come with you, all right? He's still out there. Hold your line. There you go. You got it, you got it. Just hold your line. You're clear, but stay low. You want to keep pulling the seven with you. Yeah. It's all right. Just I'm looking in my mirror. <laughs> I know. Don't look in your mirror. Just hold it straight. Say so you're going to pull the seven through here. He's coming up to you. He's going to be helping you. We're going to be running into the guy ahead of me. Correct. All right. I want you to come to the outside of him when you get there. All right, now come back down. Now you're clear. What come back down. Come back down. Dude? You idiot. Track still clear. Keep right, coming. Dude. Track still clear. Blue flag, dude. That was total idiot move. Total report move. Is he talking about me? No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't worry about these idiots. Like, like seriously. He was driving my line. What, what, what in the hell? All right, are you 13's with you. Get it. Yeah, back off. You got two idiots down here on the apron. You're good. Keep coming. He's still to your outside, but he's giving you tons of room. Just stay low. Let the three pull or let the uh, 13 push you through here, because you're giving him a good tow. Just hold a, hold an even line, and you're, he's gonna push you right past him. Okay. There you go. Just hold your line. He wants to pass you. I don't know why. Genius. You're three wide. Stay low. Stay low. Stay low right here, stay low. Stay low. You're good. You're three wide. Stay low. Stay low. Stay low. Keep your foot in it. Stay low. Stay low. Alright. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> stay low. You're still out one still got one out there. Car width between you. Just stay with the thirteen here. You're okay. Why is he running in the middle? Because he's trying to pull the 7 because he was drafting with the 7 before. He's all over the place. Is he outside? Just, yep, you're still, okay. yeah, you're, it, and again, you're, I'm not going to call you, I'll call you clear when you're clear, but you're not clear. Oh, all right. Okay. They're, They're still out. Inner, inner Zimmy. I got gotcha. you. Well, you're still, <laughs> uh, still, still on the outside here. You're clear. All right, pull the 7 car through and just hold your line. Just stay low. Ah. Yeah. Just hold your line. You're okay. Don't look in the mirror. Just run your line. Keep your eyes forward, okay? The more the more stable you look, the more likely people are going to be to just go with you. You got a clean car. Actually, that move wasn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> All right. They're singling out behind you. The 13's still trying to work this outside like an idiot, but what can you do? He's racing the 12 for a position, so don't get wrapped up in their garbage. Just hold your line. Ah. You're okay. Just hold an even wheel here. Just hold your line. All right, you got the 12 coming to the outside. He's at your quarter. Just hold your line. You still got a car width between you. Alrighty. You got two car lengths, two car widths between you. you. Got one. Stay low. He's still out there. You're pulling him. He's got help from the seven. He doesn't have anybody. Just hold your line. Keep pulling the seven with you here. If he's alone, he's not gonna be able to get past you because your car's clean and you've got help. All right. Still, you're clear. Just keep holding your line. Oh, you only got a couple to go one here. Bump going in there. Yep. All right. Seven's with you. Stay low. Just give him a nice, easy, steady target to push. There you go. Found if I if I hold onto the steering wheel too tight. It's almost bad. I have to like just. Yeah. Let it, I mean, you wanted to fight you a little bit, but yeah, that was a great corner right there. Holy shit, three! <laughs> All right, well, he's he's to your low. door. Stay low. Uh, 
that's that's a corner too soon. I'm gonna put a cone right there, right at the entry. Uh, the I need a I need a cone so I don't cone alert the thing. Oh. <laughs> I saw words in the bottom of the screen, so I looked at look there. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. All right, you're still clear. You're still clear. Let the seven push you here. Seven and the twelve are very close to making contact behind you. Uh, that's why I don't want you to let him go. Just stay right here. Stay low. Just keep holding your line. Let him push you. Just hold a steady line here. Hold your line. Yeah, All right, to your door. You gotta stay low. You look like a pro. You're working both it's lanes. <laughs> Not trying to. <laughs> right. Oh, yes, yeah, I'm trying to block him. Yeah, right. You're doing a great job blocking the guy not for position. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Are they going to get mad He's to your door. No, just keep holding your line. So long as you hold your line, they shouldn't get mad at you. Well, I finally get out of the way if they're going for a position or something. No, they're not. They're not racing for position. The guy in the 7th car is in 6th, and the guy in the 12th car is in 13th. I don't know why the 12 won't get in line to try and catch 11th and 12th, which are 11 seconds up on you. That ship's probably sailed now, but just keep holding your line. You're clear. So, yeah, I need to practice more about when my wheel is on that yellow line. See, like that? Yeah. Kicks out all the time when I go out there. That's tight. That's why. Seven's going with the 12. Oh, we turned you. Nothing you could do there. Nothing you could do there. Why did he turn me? He got high, he was behind the 12, and he tried to duck back in behind you. And you, he just hooked your bumper. So, go ahead and tow out, because that car is toast. Yeah, there's nothing you can do there. We already spent our quick repair, so you are done, sir. I'm not sure I'm ever going to be used to driving underneath the wreck in VR. Yeah, I mean, again, this comes from people not holding steady lines. Um, you held your line just fine, but if you I watched... I did. No, you did. I mean, you did. I mean, once you got into the straightaway, but what kind of facilitated this whole thing was you jo jumped up up the track, lap. you gave the 12 some draft, probably made the 7 check up a little bit. I can hear it. It's been and, good racing. And, and then he tried to go to your outside. Lap. If you got it, I'm not going to block you He hard. tried to go to the outside, and then um, when he didn't get a good draft, he tried to tuck back in behind you. Yeah. There. So, I mean, there's nothing you can do there. I mean, getting hooked by the 7, it's not your fault at all. Um, well, but, yeah. I was trying to hold the line. I mean, I kicked out of there a couple of times. Yeah, it floor, will, that's the thing with old Daytona is it's, you, you start getting boring, tight boring. out, and it's push loose. So it's pushing, 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 and you start putting wheel into it, and then it levels out, and the, the back end of the car kicks around. So there's not really a lot you can do. Yeah. That's nice right. Yeah, the 12, yeah, the 12 freaking uh, got junked up into the fence there. But let's take a look at the beginning, um, because what we want to see is how this whole first wreck started. Nice car, 8, by the way. Thank you. Again, you talk about people just not being patient. Yeah, so you yeah. got the 18 car. One. You got the 18 car who decides it's going to be a good idea to bump the 1 in the middle of the corner. And bumps him. Right side, the one dips down, yeah, kisses the apron. When we first started, kind of screwed the whole All right, we're done with those guys. Anyway, he, uh, he he tips the one and then just sets it all off. You know, And back where you're at, I mean, it happened literally right in front of you. There was nothing you could have done. Right. You know, there's just nothing you can do. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm not I was watching really, the stream. I was really hoping that the one was going to ghost through you because he was flipping through the air. Darn your good connection. And then, yeah, you got broadsided by the 10. But yeah, again, just nothing you can do. Yeah, can you back that up again? I just now tuned in to oh. see what happened there. Sure. So what happens up here, basically, is it's the 18 right here with the 1. Um, he uh, There's a little checkup, and the 18 just doesn't check up. There's three wide in front of him, you know, and I almost told you to oh, just this, back out. but. Oh, this is the first wreck. I yeah, this you. is the first wreck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's again, there's not a lot you can do on that one. Oh, yeah. So what happened? Did I get 
hooked from behind or something like that? Um, oh, on, on this, on the last wreck? Yeah, on that wreck right there. Yeah, the last wreck. So this is what happens. So you drift all the way out up there. You're basically in the second lane. And then come back down. The seven sees it, and there's this a hole the there. This is the second wreck, right? Yeah, there were only That's two. The there were only two that you were in. I, I missed the first one is what I'm saying. I mean, oh. I saw the very end of it, so that's what I was asking about. Okay. So. Keep in mind the stream is like nine seconds behind real life. Yeah. I so, that, yeah. yeah. So, basically, the first wreck, yeah, the 18 pushed the one around onto the apron. He came back across the track. You know. And that nothing, got and got me? Yeah, the one flipped off the fence and hit you. There's nothing yeah, okay. you could do. So, right here. That's a racing deal. Yeah, exactly. It's a total race deal. You know, with, with this thing right here, basically the 7 starts to go with the 12, and then just... Yeah, but he came... Oh, why'd he come down and get me? He didn't do it on purpose. I mean, no, I <laughs> yeah, what I think it was is that he thought that he was going to hit the 12, and he just came down. You know, I mean, if you look, his wheel basically he starts moving sideways. It's well, just, I it's, don't feel so it's, bad because I was going straight and I was on the line. So. Yeah, there's, again, totally not your fault. And, I mean, the safest thing would have been to just let these idiots by. But what's most important is getting you track time, draft time, and racing around other cars time. Because that's something that you just can't get in practice. I'd much rather you get some bad finishes and have that be the case and do that. Yeah, 7 right. did go into a death spin. No, no you're not wrong. Yeah, can't yeah. I'm sorry, biscuits got buttered. Oh yeah. That's the nature of Daytona. Yeah, exactly. How honor. Well, I feel I, I you know, I don't feel totally bad. I mean I didn't hold the line perfectly every time, but I felt like I was on the line and he just got it to me, so what am yeah. I gonna do? Again, yeah, it, it, none of these were your fault. Yeah. With three hundred seventy two laps completed. That's probably my biggest worry. And the enthusiastic that, race fans, as they always uh -huh. are here. I guess they didn't have that same worry. <laughs> and I know he didn't do it on purpose. But. Uh huh. Yep. Everybody goes in thinking that I'm going to take it easy. I'm just going to be at the back. It's not a big problem. Like, I'm just going to be easy. Everyone's going to wreck around me. But it's just, it happens every time. Yeah. You know? What would be smart is to just not even be anywhere near the draft. But you've got to. You've got to race around other cars. You know, that's part of learning, you know, mm -hmm. car control and in that distance kind of relationship. But as far as what happened on pit road, man, I don't know. I mean, it, maybe it was that you just couldn't see, um, you know, what happened there. But it should have, what should have happened was it should have gotten you in the box, shown you a repair time, like basically your pit stop time of like two Singapore. seconds. And it counted down and then it, you know, would have let you go. Now, the car's not going to jack up or anything like that because I, did, I turned the tires off and the fuel off. Oh, all right. That's what I wondered. I didn't see anything. I saw absolutely nothing. I managed to yeah. pull in and nothing happened. That's weird Maybe. that, like, from your perspective, you didn't even see um, damage on the hood or anything. No, I didn't see any damage. And suddenly, I didn't even notice until I finally... Yeah. The, the writing came on across the bottom and says, it's done. Go. You know. Oh, okay. Like, gotcha. Does that mean go? I mean. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, I'm watching from your in car, and yeah, there's no, you can't see any damage on the car. Yeah. You know? Plus, I didn't think I pulled in wrong. I mean. You were a little bit far forward. That's what kind of got that, me. Yeah. That's that's true. But then I backed up, and then it was like nothing's happening. So then I moved in, and it says you're too close, too far left. So I'm like, whatever. Kind of weird. Oh well. Yeah, and again, I mean, it's the nature of Daytona. But you know what? Yeah. You can run it as many times as you want. You don't even yeah. got to pay for the wrecked car. Ooh. Uh, that's right. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, watching this one from the uh, from the in car. Ooh. You hate to see it. Man, you got turtled, uh -huh. man. You were on the on your roof the whole time. I know. Finally, you got back up on your wheels here. Oof. That's a tough one. That's yeah, a tough that was one. A bummer. That's a that bummer. bummer. But anyway, let's take a look and see what we got finishing results-wise. It's going to hurt. But honestly, with how strong the split is, it's probably not going to be that big of a deal anyway. So let's take a gander. All right. Where do, where do you where do you see that in last session's results? Yeah. So when you close out of iRacing or you go back yeah. to the web page, yeah. there should be a blue button there that says you know continue yeah. or something like that. So last click that, session. and then there's another blue button that says last session's results. Oh, there we go. Yep. But you can always check your old we results. Lost 34. Dang. Thanks for the spoilers, man.
Oh, sorry. I didn't even look. Yeah, you lost 34. And you lost .07 in safety rating. So, oh well. What can you do, man? And it wasn't even my fault. Robin Williams would have told me that. It's not your fault. Yeah, it's exactly. Not your fault. Yeah, Will, Will Hunting out there. Yeah. Dang, and I, I'm the one who loses. <laughs> yep. I mean, everybody loses, you know. Um, really? Uh, the smart guy, Brandon uh, Klasinski, uh, I think he started in the back behind us. Um, he missed that wreck as well, and he finished second. Um, your interval well, of didn't... victory, by the way, So just so you know, seven cars finished on the lead lap. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> I was Every still result. running. Mm, no, you weren't. It says running. Yes. Not disconnected. Yeah, you didn't disconnect, but you finished that one disconnect. in the pits. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's right. But, and in the rule book, I well, guess it'll go down as not a DNF. And Klasinski, in all fairness, he didn't have this idiot 12 who would just would not, like, play. I mean. So, you know, I mean, that was two different cars. It was the one car who yeah. just rode the high line for whatever reason. It just and doesn't the 12 make did the any same. sense. And then the 12 out there, too. Like, the 12, I understand. Because he's trying to gain on the guys in front. Like, he feels like he can lead this back better. I don't know. Personally, I should have just told you to just let him go. But I want to get you used to driving around other cars. That's the most important thing. Okay. It but is. Don't get, me too, go, don't get me too used to it. I'll be down to 500 I rating at that rate. So? Oh, okay. Well. Yeah. I mean, your I rating goes down, it goes down. You know, you got to learn how to drive around other people, you know. But trust me, I mean, just as easy as you lost 34, run another race. I don't even have to spot you. Just start in the back. Um, the when the green flag flies, you get to the back stretch. I mean, just let them go. Like, once you get to, like, going into turn one, pull onto the apron. And just let them go. And just drive around by yourself. And I guarantee you'll gain eye rating in the splits that you run in. True, but you're right. You don't get any practice. In a I'm crowd. just saying, you can easily undo what was done here in terms of eye rating. That's not a problem. Okay. So, you well, know, it's discouraging. Don't 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 get down about it though. I mean, it's plate mm. racing. I mean, you're you're how many how many official races have you run? That's actually a really good question. Let's take a look at this. I have no idea. Well, we're going to look. You've run 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and once this hits it will be 11. Does that you've, count You you have 13 career starts. Does that count rookie? Yes. Like street stock? That's total. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I, it's just, And if you look back to where you were before, you took a seven-month hiatus from when you last ran these cars before Lanier. February 25th was the last time you ran. You ran the K&N at Canadian Tire Motorsports. Oh, that's at Most Sport, yeah. Yeah, at Most Sport. That was and then seven, seven months ago. Seven months and then Lanier? Yeah. Dang, where did the months go? I know, right? That's what I'm well, saying. I'm so. two, two weeks in a row. or two, two weeks. Who was it that said I needed to run one can in a week? So there you go. I got two. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I realized, Yeah. Well, you ran Lanier last week. Yes, that's right. Yep. Because the new track, obviously, it's been a week. Um, but, um, but yeah, I mean, you can run... As many, especially Daytona, it's kind of brainless. I mean, especially if you just want to ride around in the back, no problem. Yeah. You can do that in no sweat. Well, maybe I'll do that. It's not much fun riding around old Daytona. It's just so dang bumpy. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, carb cop <laughs> equals good draft practice at Super Speedway. Sometimes. I would agree with that, RW, especially the sometimes part, because it just turns into a wreck fest. Nobody cares. But, you know, the it's. The carb cup? Yeah, it's good to get drafting practice, but I mean, it's also a totally different car than the K and N car, you know. So it's again, it the most important thing to me is seat time, and getting yourself seat time and getting in there and getting used to these things is what makes the biggest difference, you know. Getting comfortable with the car. So you ran Mo Sport three times. Is that three, right? Three times? No. I don't think you did. I might have done it twice. Let me see here. I did do it a couple times. <laughs> or is that Watkins Glen? No. I can't remember. 
Let me see. I'm looking at these results. I think he ran most sport, but didn't run most sport. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think you registered for races and then didn't. All right, so that was one you ran and you finished one lap down. And then the other, because the other lap, the other one, you were 12 laps down. You didn't complete a single lap. And then the other one you finished. So, yeah, I think you ran it twice, and then you actually registered and didn't run it once. That's a possibility. Most sport? Yeah, that was a most sport. I don't know, Dad. I mean, come on. Tell me tell me exactly what happened seven months ago. You know what I mean? I can't tell you what happened seven <laughs> hours seven hours ago. Right. <laughs> right. So, yeah. And Viper's right. Seat time times seat time equals seat, seat time. time. There you go. That is that is actually a very, very good thing. And it, everybody who's starting out. Don't mm-hmm. worry about the I rating. Worry a little bit about the safety rating. I mean, obviously, you don't want to lose, you know, your your licenses and things like mm-hmm. that. But I mean, realistically, you're not going to lose your D license. They can't send you back to rookies. That's a good thing. <laughs> I mean, you're nowhere near losing it right now. You're at two four yeah. six. You still got point four six to go. You'd have to run this race, what, like eight nine times before you'd lose. You get right. down to below a two which is what would, if you had like a B license or a C license, would knock you back down at the end of a season to D to, to the next license level down. If it drops below one, it's an automatic demotion and you, mm-hmm. you, they automatically move you down. So, but anyway, well, I know that wasn't probably very much fun, but uh, you looked good. Well, I mean, as far as getting used to holding your line and seeing what the car takes, especially on a longer run, running in the draft or running faster laps, the tires do wear out more. So that's, again, it's good for you to get that experience because now you know yeah. it binds up a lot coming out of turn four. Yeah, and I mean, I felt like, even though the guy was kind of an idiot not wanting to fall in line and draft, I mean, I felt really good about driving next to him and holding the line, and I didn't didn't go up and take anybody out so that was good so you know that's Mm -hmm. that i think it was probably more valuable doing this and racing even though i got destroyed uh than just running around in the back yeah it was following anybody because that that honestly isn't that much fun i mean it was kind of cool at the beginning but it's a lot more fun to be actually racing and yeah yeah stuff so yeah so this is not fun fun to get punted or hooked or whatever right Right. So the last time you ran around at the back, you finished ninth at Daytona. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the um, the other time, I think you tried to run in the pack, you finished 16th. So, but again, I mean, part of it is you don't want your rating to go down so much that you start running in lower, lower splits. But, I mean, realistically, I mean, you're probably right where you need to be. You know, you just need to get used to driving the car and stuff. And Daytona's tough. I mean, how many times have you watched me run Daytona and watched me wreck? Yeah, a lot of times. Yeah. <laughs> Can't always help yeah. it. So anyway, don't I, worry. Like about... I said, I don't. I don't feel bad about my driving. I just feel bad yeah. that I didn't drive really terrible, but I got taken out. But that's just the way it is. Well, right? it sucks. You only made it like a quarter of the lap before somebody decided that they just wanted to bump somebody in the middle of the corner, not even at full speed yet. So wait, which one are you talking about? Oh, at the beginning, you mean? The first wreck. Yeah. Oh, I was talking about the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm saying like the first wreck kind of set the tone there. Yeah. At that point, the field's totally broken up. You don't have somebody in the back there that's like, "Yeah, I'm just ready to ride with you, and we're just we're just gonna keep it clean." You know. That's true. And quick it helps finding a friend like that. Yeah. yeah, and then you got the seventh car behind you. You just put it in the wall randomly down the straightaway. So, again, it it happens. <laughs> so anyway, oh, well, well, I th- I think we'll, we'll end it. Time. Yeah, next time, man, for sure. If you want to run this again, let me know. Thanks so much for spotting. I really appreciate it. It helps yeah. a lot. I know. And part of it is for tuning in. Yeah, and part of it is, you know, I'm I know I'm spotting for you, and I'm not giving you a, a ton of information sometimes, letting you know if people are still there or not. But it, at Daytona, there's not really a lot you can do. I mean, you're just rolling, you're just holding your line, you know, yeah. you're just holding it low, you know. That's you're true. Not it's not get, like it's not like you're tracking out to the wall, you know. Exactly. It's, you can <laughs> yeah, run wherever you need to go. Down. So it's like, yeah, just hold the bottom. Right. Hold the bottom. Right. Oh, pickup cup is at Daytona this week too. Ooh. Ooh. No, thank you. So, all right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Yep. And uh, be sure if you if you're new and you want to watch some actual fun stuff, you can go into the channel, check the playlist, and I believe there's one playlist called Dad Does I Racing. There's a bunch of races in there, and you can watch what Dad can really do. So you can check that out too. So, uh, again, thank you guys for watching, and until the next time, take care.